Okay, multiplying polynomials when you can't use FOIL. Remember, you can only use FOIL when you're multiplying binomials, like A plus B times C plus D or whatever. Each piece has to have exactly two terms in it, one, two, one, two. Here we have this first one has one, two terms. The second one has one, two, three terms. So we can't use this. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the distributive property of multiplication over addition. And it just looks like hell because it's a lot of work, but it's actually very, very doable. So let's try this. So th let me show you how what I'm going to do. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this x times everything over here. So systematically, I'm going to go x times x squared, and I'm going to write down my answer. And then I'm going to go to x times negative 5x. Remember, there's a negative there. And I'm going to go x times positive 4. So as I do that, it ends up looking like this. x times x squared is x cubed, isn't it? x times negative 5x is negative 5x squared, right? Lastly, I have x times positive 4, which is positive 4x. The next thing I'm going to do, so I've used this term. This first term has been multiplied by everything over there. I'm finished with that term. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to, the, to my next term, which is this one. I'm going to multiply this times this, then this times this. You see I'm doing the same thing I did before. I'm making sure I multiply this term by everything in the second part. So let's see what that would look like. And that looks like this. 2 times x squared is positive 2x squared, isn't it? 2 times negative 5x is negative 10x. And lastly, 2 times positive 4 is positive 8. Now we're going to gather our like terms. We're going to simplify this, if you will. So I'm going to gather the like terms. So gather like terms. This is crucial. So many people misunderstand this, and they can't figure out why they're not good at algebra. It's because this thing was never taught to them well. I have x cubes here. So this is what I'm looking at. I have these x cubes here. Nothing else has, a cube, has an x cubed in it. Therefore, I can't add it to anything else. So I have x cubed. Einstein once said, why well, remember what's written down? So I'm going to remind myself I already went through that. So I'm going to cross that thing out. Now I'm going to look for x squared. So here's x squared. There's five, negative 5x five squared here. There's 2x squared here, which gives us a total of negative 3x squared, doesn't it? I use this one and this one. I could add them together because they had the same variable, and the, that variable was raised to the same power, so I could add them together. Now I look for x cubed, x squared. I'm going to look for x to the first power. And here's negative 10x to the first power. Here's 4x's to the first power. So when I add them together, I get negative 6x's to the first power. Because these were positive, these were negative, right? And lastly, I don't want to bother anybody, but this is the same as x to the 0 power. Because x to the 0 power is 1, or no, vi no variable. However you want to do that. If you see 8 is out there all by itself, so it's the only one that works, doesn't it? So there's our answer. So that's multiplication of polynomials when you cannot use FOIL. Remember, you just distribute. I really would diagram this. You're like, oh, I don't want to look like, like I'm done. No, you're going to look like you're a genius because this is important stuff. So when you're taking calculus or Calc 2 or Calc 3, it's going to be the same way. You're not going to be wanting to make really silly errors. So avoid them by documenting or diagramming how you did your work. Okay, you guys? All right, I hope this was helpful. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And I, I love your comments. They're hilarious. So if you have anything to say, let me know. And if you caught any mistake, let me know.